Now I'd like to speak directly to those who have fought factually, respectfully, and relentlessly for the truth over the last three years. As of 41024, I got another one of these certified letters from the State Election Board. Every time I get one of those letters, my wife sets it on my desk and she says, you got another one of those certified letters. I hope you're not being indicted this time. But um, anyways, as of that letter, it has now been factually proven that both the hand audit, this is really, really important, and the certified machine count, yes, the certified count, have both been found to be in violation of Georgia election law. Based on these findings, to those that have fought factually, respectfully, and relentlessly, I'll close with one word, vindicated. That's right, vindicated. It's actually happening three years, three and a half years after the fact. The Democrat shenanigans in the 2020 election are finally being brought to light. Hey, gang, it's me, Dr. Steve, your patron professor, here to help you stay sane in these insane times. So make sure to smack that bell and subscribe button. And let's dive right in here. The state of Georgia, over three years after the fact, is finally coming to terms with what happened in November 2020. Governor Brian Kemp has signed into law a bill requiring new and more stringent rules for being included on voter rolls. It's basically a voter roll cleanup bill, which expunges names from voter rolls who now, according to the new law, are disqualified. This new law comes on the heels of some pretty dramatic testimony that came before the Georgia Election Board that voted to reprimand Fulton County. That's Fannie Willis's jurisdiction. They voted to reprimand Fulton County for violating state law while conducting a recount of the 2020 election. Here's a sample of what they found. Does the investigation confirm that there are missing ballot images? Yes. Yes. Do you know why 380,761 ballot images from election day machine count are not available? We subpoenaed Fulton County for all of their ballot images. Uh, we received approximately 518,000 ballot images. From election day? Those are for the recount. Those are from the recount, but we, we have no ballot images for 380,761 ballots from election day, correct? What was subpoenaed was the ballot images for the recount because that's what this, this case was about, not the election day. Does Fulton County know why there are not 380,761 ballot images from election day? Now, what you just got there was an admission by Fulton County officials that ballots are missing, that when they scanned the ballots for a recount, there were actually 17,000 original ballots that were not accounted for in the recount. And then when this committee asked to see the original ballots, they were basically told no. That's what you got with that Fulton County official speaking without the mic at the end there. Look, now, I mean, this isn't hard. As long as there is a vote discrepancy between the recount and the original count, no matter what Fulton County officials want to claim, their recount did not replicate the original results. There's no spinning that. And to make matters even worse, they found over 3,000 duplicate ballots. But, but the report, uh, the allegation is from Mr. Rossi, that 3,125 duplicate ballots were counted. I'm, I'm not talking about the ICC 14 scanner that, that ballots were misnamed and, and reloaded on it. I'm talking about 3,125 duplicate ballots that were counted. 
And again, as we concluded, and it's in the report, we, we did partially substantiate that we believe that there are duplicate ballot images. Whether or not those were actually included in the tabulated results is inconclusive. Now that's a bombshell right, right there. What you just heard was the Secretary of State's office admit that they did not know whether the 3,000 duplicate ballots made their way into the general elections tabulations. Remember, Biden won by 10,000 votes. And in effect, what you just heard her say was basically, well, we don't know if 30% of Biden's vote were invalid. <laughs> Absolutely unfreaking unbelievable. Now, you may be obviously asking yourself, what the hell is going on in Georgia? Well, the answer is that Democrats who keep in mind are a minority in Georgia. Georgia is overwhelmingly Republican. But nevertheless, according to a report by the Federalist, Democrat officials were threatening election board members with legal action, with lawsuits, if they didn't certify the results. In other words, they were being threatened to look the other way when confronted with all of these ballot discrepancies. Now, fortunately, the Georgia Election Board, which you were seeing, you're seeing there, they're, they're the ones holding the hearings. They have appointed an independent monitor over Fulton County for the 2024 election, which, again, together with the cleaning up of the voter rolls, is not good news for the Democrats and their hopes of trying to take Georgia in November. So this is really huge. But that's not all. As it turns out, it's not just Georgia. Wait until you see what's happening in the key swing state of Wisconsin. Hey, gang, you've seen how much UFC fighters love President Trump and how much he loves them. They're both fighting for faith, family, and freedom. But did you know that our camaraderie goes way beyond just fighting against wokeness? We can actually get the exact same pain relief that the fighters in the UFC get precisely because a fellow patriot and good friend of this channel is the one who provides relief to that pain, and he's here to do the same for you. You know, we all know that as we age, aches and pains are normal, but, you know, they don't have to be. And that's where the groundbreaking medical scientist Clint Winters comes in. Clint's a world-renowned health expert who's unveiled a natural pain reliever that is taking the world by storm. It's called Kano CB2. It is the 100% drug-free way to get full-body pain relief without dangerous meds. And it is the official pain reliever for the fighters in the UFC. So whatever you do, make sure to click on that link below and check out Clint's amazingly informative report on how Kano CB2 is changing lives by providing safe and powerful relief at a fraction of the cost of pain pills. Click on that link below right now. We got some huge news coming out of the key swing state of Wisconsin. A top elections official in Milwaukee County named Claire Woodall is being removed from her post. And the reasons given for her removal are extremely vague. Now, if you don't know, Woodall has been the subject of controversy over the way she handled the 2020 election. In the wee hours of November 4, 2020, long after the polls had closed in the November 3rd presidential election, Woodall announced suddenly a batch of tens of thousands of votes had finally been counted out of nowhere. And obviously the vast majority of the votes were for Biden, helping to give him an extremely narrow victory over Trump, winning by just over 20,000 votes. Now, Ryan Shu from the left-wing organization called Election Group wrote at 4.07 a.m. that Wednesday morning, Damn, Claire, you have a flair for drama delivering just the margin needed at 3 a.m., I bet you had those votes counted at midnight and just wanted to keep the world waiting. Damn, Claire. Yeah, there were emails written like that on that day. Nothing to see here, of course. Nothing to see. Well, now for reasons we're not being told, she's out. She's gone. Now, the concern here is whether a replacement will be worse given that it's Milwaukee County. But at the very least, we are seeing finally some of the, shall we say, discrepancies from 2020 finally getting resolved. Now, we'll see. We'll obviously be keeping an eye on how what this involves getting closer and closer to November. But if what's happening in Georgia is any indicator and possibly what's happening in Wisconsin, it looks like we're finally seeing two out of the three states that were at issue in 2020 finally getting it together.
Also, as you know, we've just unveiled our brand new Turley Talks app. This is our answer to YouTube's demonetizing our channel. It's a beautiful cancel-proof app that you can download completely free just by clicking on that link below or by going to Fight. .turleytalks.com. This app is our way to declare our independence from all woke platforms that hate us and to tell the international woke police precisely where they can stick it. You're going to love it. Click on that link below or go to fight.turleytalks.com right now.